to another edition of Survive to Thrive. I'm Dr. Todd, and we are going to be talking about, well, I always say we. Maybe it's uh, you're going to be listening to, and I'm going to talk about. It would be cool if there was a two-way podcast that you could talk and ask questions and or uh, provide some statements. But <laughs> today, uh, we're directly addressing republics, anarchy, and your health. And you may be asking, what the hell do republics and anarchies have to do with my overall health? <laughs> I was reading an article um, uh, this morning out of the Washington Post, a friend sent me, and out of that article, it was talking about uh, one of the ways that America can actually come out of um, uh, some of the slumps that we've put ourselves in, um, is to go back to in history and our deep-rooted history, what the Founding Fathers had laid as a foundation for us to be successful. And um, not really arguable, but some people would argue that we have the greatest republic ever beyond Rome. Beyond Rome. Now, Rome um, did fall, eventually fell. And it was because of a lot of the things that we see going on today where there is a dysfunction, there is not a common core, there is not a, um, not necessarily everybody believes in the, in the same thing, it wasn't a belief issue, but there was some fundamental core values that were, were established and, and taken through, and there was some, um, there was family, and there was connection, and there was a lot of different things. Um, basically, you look at, back at see, the Republic of Rome, um, was overthrown, um, basic, basically the, the rule of one person was overthrown with, with the desire of the people to be able to establish a new foundation where people would have a voice. The same person that would cultivate the fields, that would actually teach his son or teach his daughter how to do uh, the family business, so to speak, would have the same say uh, in their um, government of their rule as one somebody that would be at a higher level. Uh, and in this case, in like a dynasty or in royalty. And so our founding fathers did the same thing. They looked at a, a, a basically a rule, um, a monarch of just basically one person and said like, look, we're not going to be beholden to the king because we have these values that resonate with what Rome did. We want to facilitate people's ability to engage and have a say in how they are governed. And so they laid this foundation. Our founding fathers laid the foundation and the Romans took over and laid this foundation to be able to create the two greatest republics ever in their history. And in our history, we can find a lot of wisdom in this. What does this have to do with your health? We're getting that. So they laid this foundation from which people got to participate and have a say in how they reigned, meaning how they were governed, meaning that the people actually had the voice. And what started to happen was society started to flourish. Economies started to flourish. Creativity started to flourish. And in contrast, France, at the same time as a little bit earlier, but at the same time, close uh, as far as uh, go back a couple hundred years before the American Revolution, France looked at it and said, we just want to kill everything. Everything that we knew to be true, as far as the reign of the king and queen and all these types of things, we just want to get rid of it. And so the people overthrew the government, but had nothing to put in place. They overthrew the government, if you will, or the reign. It wasn't uh, so much government as we know it today, but a ruling king and queen overthrew and anarchy started to ensue. France went through some of the most tumultuous times that you could ever imagine, where the people didn't know what side to be on because the whatever side they would choose could be turned in an instant by another group of people. And so you had people just murdering people for no reason, groups trying to overthrow other groups, and it was complete anarchy. And from anarchy stepped Napoleon, who just became another ruler. 
And so in history, we can learn this difference. Okay, we can learn the difference between people that actually overthrew the government to be able to put a foundational new approach in, which Rome did. It was about 500 BC. That's how Rome came about. And this is how our country came about was there was a foundation. It wasn't just like, hey, we disagree with this and we're just going to blow it apart like happened in France, but we disagree with this and we want to put this into place. And so we built the foundation. We built the foundation from which to grow from. We built the foundation based on principles, on values, based on beliefs that we knew to be true, that worked in Roman times. And see, here's where I'm going with this. Your health often is looked at as like, the anarchy. Like, I just want to blah, blah, get rid of everything. This is your antibiotic. So you wake up and you have blah, cold and, and um, this is the time of year everybody gets sick. Congestion and cold and indigestion stuff and all these things start to rain down. And what do we do? We overthrow our bodies with antibiotics just to wipe everything out. And then sit there not knowing what else to do, meaning that we don't put any foundation. We don't have any values of what we're trying to go with our bodies. We don't have any foundation of, or values of what we believe to be true of how our body heals because we're not asking these questions. And anarchy starts to ensue, meaning that and another infection is going to take hold, meaning that your body is going to feel like shit. Your energy is going to be down. Your body's ability to heal and fight off other infections becomes low. And disease starts to settle in. Just like disease started to settle in France. So what I'd have you consider today is if you are going to go anarchy on your next crash diet, on your next sickness, on your next low energy, we do this. We wake up and get through a day and realize that at about 3 o'clock we don't have the energy to sustain so what do you do? Anarchy. We're just going to pour gasoline down our throats just to fuel that fire, and just to get through the day. Instead of building a republic, instead of actually laying a foundation that could actually have long-lasting results, and we're laying a republic basic, on basic principles, on a foundation that we know to be true. See, this is truly the difference in healthcare. There is one facet of healthcare that is all about anarchy. It lets just blow the part, body apart and then whatever, moving forward, to only blow it apart again. We're going to overthrow everything. We're going to overthrow our body's ability to heal itself by putting medicine, antibiotics, whatever it takes to get through this chaos, this time, but not thinking about the future and what that's going to look like. Only have only to have in our bodies another Napoleon Bonaparte come over and take over again to create so much chaos in our body, another virus, another bacteria that spreads across where we have to just boom, overthrow it again with no foundation. So what I'm having you consider today is that you need to lay a foundation for your body, for your immune system, for your health and have a plan for that. Because I will walk through this time of year without getting sick, without getting destroyed like many people are. Sore throats and colds and coughs and congestion. And, and they look to what's immediate. Well, it's got to be so-and-so that gave me this. It passes from person to person to person. And I'm looking at this. I'm like, okay, watch. I predicted this. I predicted this two weeks ago. Three weeks, per, um, approximately three weeks ago, saying that as school gets back, it takes about two weeks for people to get so stressed out and worn down. And then our daylight starts to shorten. Our immune system starts to decrease because people aren't outside. They aren't getting vitamin D. They're not supplementing with vitamin D. And there's this perfect storm that everybody starts to get sick. Ah, there it was. And sure enough, this week is where everybody is crashing and they are in anarchy in their bodies. They are overthrowing their bodies with antibiotics and over-the-counter stuff, whatever they can do to get by. Doc, what can I use today? What can I have today that's going to help me get through this? 
And I immediately say, well, what would help you get through this is what you did six months ago. So what I'm having you consider today, the tip and the trick to get you above this life of chaos, of overthrowing your body, is to actually start to build a republic. This is laying a foundation. You are going to start to lay a foundation of values. Do you believe that your body can heal itself? Yes or no? If you believe that your body can heal itself, if you believe that your body can fight off sickness, if you believe that you are the victor over some sort of bacteria or some virus and not a victim of somebody sneezing or coughing in your direction, then you can build a foundation on what you eat, your stress levels that you deal with, the position of your spine, the movements that you do on a daily basis all have a significant impact a significant impact on your overall health. And you start to lay a foundation and have and hold values true to your heart that you start to influence other people in your house. Like for me and my family, we don't go the antibiotic route. You got sick, we're going to look at what have you been doing? How come you provided this environment? And let's take some rest and allow your body a chance to repair. We're not going to pour gasoline on this puppy. We're going to actually let it go through what it needs to go through. So in a republic and in an anarchy, we can find answers to not only carrying wisdom through as an arsenal, literally taking wisdom for what we know to be true in the past, like Hippocrates, even before Roman times, back to the Greek times, said, look, when you are in sickness, look first to the spine. Thomas Jefferson, another founding father, was saying the doctor of the future would interest his patients in the care of the human frame and nutrition because we knew of the benefits of that. But it takes hard work to lay a foundation, does it not? It takes time and energy and it has to be forged and it has to be done and there's nothing exciting in the day in and day out of exercising, moving well, the day in and day out, taking a green drink and supplementing your diet and actually choosing amazing foods throughout your day. There's nothing exciting in doing all the work that's necessary, the mundane stuff, the day in and day out work that's necessary to build health. It's more exciting to go through and talk about the viruses and the bacteria that are coming across and everybody getting sick and I'm, I got the excitement. Am I going to get sick or not sick this time? Am I going to get had or not had this time? I'm really excited because then I get to actually have attention from doctors if I get sick and I get to go to the doctors and get the prescriptions that I need to fuel this chaos, this anarchy. You see, every day, you get to wake up and choose which direction that you want to go. Every day, we give options to patients. I'm trusting their ability to heal or not. Understanding that the spine and the nervous system is control of a lot of this. Not all of it, not everything, but a lot of it. And they get to choose whether they want to get healthier or stay in anarchy. And so what I would suggest for you today is to question the values of what you believe to be true with health and healing. Why? Well, because that starts to build the foundation for a republic in your body. A foundation that health can last, not just 20 years, talking hundreds of years, because there's a lot of wisdom in forging the work, doing the work to forge habits, doing the work to forge through and build a foundation of health. Your sickness did not happen overnight, nor were your, will your health. Your sickness did not happen overnight, nor will your health. Your health has to be built. So you choose today to start doing the things habitually to build the republic in your body so that when the opportunity for sickness comes around, you don't have to participate. Meaning when the perfect storm of the stresses of school, the stresses of get back to work, summer's over, the crashing of our daylight starts to go, vitamin D starts to deteriorate because we're not getting outside and getting that sun exposure as time 
um, starts to shorten, the daylight starts to shorten, and the cold weather starts to settle in that we don't like to go out and be uncomfortable in, that you walk through these seasons as normal, that your body adapts to the season instead of being destroyed. The option, my people, is there. The decision, like always, is up to you. In love and light, truths and facts. Daily in this podcast, we'll talk to you. Later.